Okay, so first of all, select the whole column and then go to Home and then Paragraph and select Numbering. Then choose this option from the Numbering Library. If you don't want to have a number in the top row, then you need to press backspace once and then a second time. Then there's quite a large gap between the number and the left-hand side of the column. In order to remove this, you need to select decrease indent. Then there's also quite a large gap between the cursor and the number. So in order to remove this, you need to right click and adjust list indents and then change follow number with to nothing and OK. And then the cursor is right next to the number. If you want the numbers to start at any number other than one, you need to right click and set numbering value and then change it to be whatever you want and OK. And now my numbers are starting from 100. I am going to quickly change these back to 1. Then if I click in the bottom right hand corner of the table and press Tab on the keyboard, it will add in another row with a number in it. You can also add in a row in the middle of the table and that will also have a number in it and all of the numbers below it will adjust. Now if you want to delete the numbers, you have to select them all and then select numbering again to remove them. Now you also have some other options. So if I select all of these cells here and go back to numbering, and then define new number format. There are different number styles that you can choose from. So for example, you can add a bunch of zeros in front of the numbers and OK. And you end up with a sequence of numbers that looks like this. You may also want to add a word or some letters in front of your numbers. So in order to do that, I'm going to go back to numbering and define new number format. Then change the number style back to the first one and type CL in front of this. Now the letters aren't highlighted, so they're not going to change, but the number is highlighted, so it will change as you go down the table and OK and you end up with a sequence of numbers that looks like this. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to get a sequence of numbers in a table in Microsoft Word, and that is everything.